Hey yo, hey, we back, we back, we back. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Toshi, and we are. Back at it, some more reactions. If you're just now catching me for the first time, just know I was live. Make sure you go hit this link in the description. Follow your boy, check me out, stay in the action. And don't miss out on any future content. I'm less than 75 subscribers away from a thousand on YouTube, so make sure you support your boy by liking, sharing, commenting, and all of the above. Now, it's about that time. Let's get into it. Okay, well, we're here with Dr. Stone, season three, episode six. The progression of this series is moving and I'm loving the pacing. I'm excited to see their journey, how they built this ship and if they encounter anything on the way, they're gonna have to encounter like rough waves, storms, shit like that. But the crew is gonna have to really buckle down the hatches. What, what's the, what's the fucking term they use? Bat down the hatches. They're gonna have to be real sailors right now. They're going to the treasure island. We're actually gonna see Senku kind of get into the world of where his pops is from. And like when these astronauts had to crash land, did they leave any clues, information, anything on, on how to restore humanity? We'll figure it out, but I love Dr. Stone. The pacing is hard. And obviously it's real big brain shit. So let's get into it. Ship look hard. I wonder what's that on the backside. What's on the backside of the ship? Is that like the steam? Wait, ain't no subs here either? No way. Oh, my fault. I had them turned off. Ah, got it. Let's do this again. That's crazy that they're passing an island and you can still see like people were even mountain climbing and chilling on this island when shit was petrified. Uh oh. That's Pop's crew. Treasure box. So there's some type of item they need to find that's going to help them revive everybody. 37 years ago. Or 3700 years ago. This is around the time of the crash landing. Yeah. Pop's still alive. Wow. Oh, yeah. So Pop's created those stories pass down for generations until someone could pick up the clues it was like a puzzle wow wait so these stories are long they're not short tales took them all night and she told eight stories so more than 150 people would have started an issue with like rebuilding society they would have to just go all around the world. Unless they figure out how to put it in the atmosphere, maybe? Platinum? Oh, wow. They put it in the spaceship. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is this? Wait. So he's from that island his father was on. Okay, he's a good guy. I thought he was gonna be some weird shit. But all these people, and they put a rando on the fucking ship? But these are gonna be Senku's descendants. Right. Now y'all got people to deal with. I like that. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see that change up? My dude got mad at first. He was like, why the fuck did you tell us who you were? And I was like, you know what? I'm actually grateful that you finally told us the information. Like if people actually started to really think about their actions and the way they respond and talk to people, life could be a little better. But people are so fucking selfish and they don't think about others that their responses are in this one tone. And then the other person, if they're built the same way, would response, you know, would respond in that 
another tone and then it would create a fucking argument rather than a civilized conversation. And she's like, I'll be all right. I'm used to motherfuckers talking to me for a long time. Damn, look at this setup right now. Look at this, bruh. Look at this setup, bruh. They got the water, the oil in the bottom corner. They got food and shit in the bottom corner. They got sheep and like animals and sleeping quarters and shit in one area. They got a greenhouse that's right above in one another area. Then you got the engine. And right above the engine, you got another lab. Like they got a whole situation, boy. The antenna. A fishing area. Here it is. This is what I was talking about last episode. I, nobody's ever went sailing their entire lives. And then they hop on a boat. They're going to get seasick. It's just what it is. Damn. It's a poisonous flower. But just a little poison will help stop something. Small amount works as medicine. Damn. Here y'all go. I knew it. There was no way they were getting over there without being in a storm. Got it. So since the storm is there, that's going to provide cover for them so they can actually get to shore, you know, under the storm's cover. And at the same time, the people of that village will all probably be enclosed so it'd be an easier chance for them to really get to scope of everything rather than you know yeah 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 i, I fuck with that i fuck with the pacing we had an episode for the building a ship now we got another episode with them crossing and getting to the land there it is oh he has a shield from whoever is it was his real mother i'm assuming but why did they leave the land uh-oh all right okay so we got like i said story progression we got point a to point b now to the cover of the storm they're definitely going to interact or not interact they're going to encounter a new civilization we don't know if they're going to be hostile or not we do know that these are the descendants of the astronaut crew it would be dope if they were already like a city of science there that would be fire but we don't know everybody's pretty primitive you know everything had to restart everything in this series is what senku was talking about the basic principle of science is is just curiosity wanting to know more wanting to know just wanting to know the way the series is built is the same way for us it keeps making us want to know what's going to happen what's next what you know like the the end goal is to restore all of humanity but is that even possible for real for real senku believes it's possible and obviously it's just a curiosity for us to want to know how that journey happens they can do a time skip and then all of a sudden the world looks super futuristic and and we'll be like wait the Wait a minute, how did they get here? And now we're just, we're watching like the prequel to the future of the world, which is very interesting on how, how shit is being portrayed in this series. There were a hundred stories that were passed down for generations that had clues. They had clues on previous life or not previous life. Well, well some, some stories probably had clues on previous life, but then also Senku was specifically looking for stories that were left there four clues for future scientists to develop a new science society. We got a new character that popped up out of nowhere. Never seen this character ever. Part of the power crew, so we know he's strong. Where the fuck did he come from? Just out of nowhere. He, he, he's a good guy, so that's cool. But what the fuck? Just a random new character on this ship that we've never seen in a whole season and a half? Crazy. I'm just curious, and that's why I'm here. So let me know what you thought of this episode, and that was... Dr. Stone. Oh yeah, that's where we're at. Let me just make sure. Ah, yes. One Piece. Season 13, episode 1039. A dramatic increase of allies. Straw Hat fights back. Now, last episode, we got a little hoorah. They, they, they draw out the episodes like a motherfucker. The last episode, it took them the whole episode just for the, the little girl that th does the cheek shit and makes everybody 
her slaves basically she did a cry for help and everybody that had a piece of her um ended up switching sides so the battle has taken a turn and now we're gonna see you know some of the results and also luffy was rescued and everybody's got a little roar and then oh also uh yamato squared up with pops but we know how that's gonna go she not he not doing nothing crazy but let's get into that so the battles have turned tides have turned uh oh, Queen's Queen's still on that shit. Y'all tripping. Can't take time to celebrate. Y'all still fighting. In no way y'all not noticing this attack. Who gonna come in and block it? Usopp ass fell. Ain't no way. Let's go, Sanji. Firefoot. He ain't even got his suit on. Oh shit, it exploded in Queen's mouth. This man says, son of judge. I'll say my father's name in front of me. What is going on here? Oh, this is another form? What the fuck just happened? Oh my god. Queen's augmented. Oh shit. Queen's a fucking cyborg this whole time? Huh? Oh, this is a side effect of the Rumble Ball. I was like, why is Chopper a fucking baby? Imanasante, what's goody? Let's go, Sanji. Suit up, my boy. It's morphing time. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm catching up little by little. I'm trying to catch up. He's sacrificing himself, right? Take that risk. Wait, a geezer and a baby at the same time. Choppa is old and young. Choppa been watching slap competitions. Queen on some other shit. But Sanji's holding back. Zoro, motherfucker said 20 to 30 bones broken. Zoro said, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep fighting. What got? Senzu beans? Nah. Oh. That's fucked up. So it heals you right away, but the side effects are... Will, will double up on you after the fact? True. If you can't fight right now, if y'all lose, it won't even matter because you can probably go get executed anyways. What you gonna do, Nami? Oh, he gonna help. And my man about to fuck them up. Usopp said, wait, what about me? Oh yeah. That's a, that's a homie. Come on, Jinbei Fishman, what's up? I kind of like his, his sauce, though. Here we go. He about to pull the sword. Oh! That shit got a big-ass seat. It's got to extend. Yeah, I was about to say something. Man, say the fuck back. Jinbei is that nigga. He's strong. Look. Bitch, get up off me. Come on now. Hey, what? Oh shit, he put out the cigarette. Oh shit, the switch up. Uh oh. Here we go. He on some shit. What the fuck? Oh, this nigga's a minx? Or. He just got a beast for him? Oh shit, Jimbei, this nigga done did some weirds. This nigga said, we know each other? He has some weird saber tooth tiger type shit. Ooh. Okay. 
Wait. 13 years ago. Wait. Okay, so we're gonna get some lore? Is that what's gonna happen? Are we about to get some lore? What's really about to go on? Jinbei kind of recognizes like, oh yeah, motherfucker, you, you sound familiar. You seem familiar. I don't know you, but I heard some stories. Obviously he was like, shit. At the time I was working for the government, motherfucker stole the fruit and come to find out straw has the motherfucker that had it. I'm, I'm wondering if he was working for the government and the fruit was stolen from him. Maybe that's why he was put in jail or something. But yeah, nothing crazy happened. Literally, it was Queen showing us a level up. Now, Queen's a motherfucking cyborg. We we found that out. So now we got Queen as a cyborg squared up with Sanji. Nami on the run with little girl and Usopp. And then we have Zoro and Choppa. Choppa has side effects happening. So Choppa, Choppa's going to be out of commission for a little bit. The the minks have a special a special healing situation where it'll heal you. But after the effects la uh, wear off, it'll double up on you so right now zoro got like 30 to 40 bones broken and i guess he gonna have 60 to 80 bones broken after the fact i'm not sure how that's gonna work maybe it's just the pain maybe maybe it's just the pain that, that hits him twice as hard later which we know zoro's that guy he gonna be able to eat that and then we have this situation with jinbei and this dude both of them were at a higher level back in the day and now both of them are kind of demoted kind of still on the same pace of like what they were doing i don't know why he's here fighting with kaido but yeah we know we know why jimbei's here fighting i mean it's pretty basic shit man another just little step towards the final outcome of this battle i can read some comments oh red must have came out when this dropped so about six months ago when this episode dropped shanks lore and world government lore in the same episode chopper turned into an old man baby human full benjamin buttons <laughs> hey yo everybody talking about the movie a legend has it is flying bite attack is still going through the walls the queen's tobacco is made out of hockey <laughs> Facts. Queen been smoking that same cigar since we first seen Queen. Jinbei's that guy. Jinbei was chilling. Said, motherfucking attack, bitch. Take this punch. All right, what's next? What's up? Oh, block? What's up? Dodge? Jinbei's that guy, bro. You know, it's time for Straw Hats to level the fuck up and get busy again. That's pretty much where we're at. And that's pretty much it, man. Let me know what you thought of that episode. And that was One Piece. And that's my time, man. I appreciate y'all for stopping by. If you catch me for the first time, links in the description. Make sure you go stay updated. Toshi Adventures across all platforms. And I appreciate you. As always, have fun, stay fly, and be free. I'm out.